In this video, we are going to trade the accelerator indicator. That's the indicator here. It's an oscillator. It produces green and red bars that are formed above or below this zero line. And whenever the bars are below the zero line, it creates a buy signal. And when the bars are above the zero line, that's a sell signal. Now, how can we create an expert advisor that is able to trade the accelerator indicator signal? Well, to do that, please click on the little button here or press F4 in your MetaTrader. And now you should see the Meta Editor window and here you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template. Click on Continue. I will call this one Check Entry underscore IAC as this is what I'm calling from my main module. Click on continue, continue and finish. And now you can delete everything above the on tick function and the two command lines. And now we change the on tick function. That will from now on be a string function because it returns a string value. It will be called check entry because that's what I'm calling from my main module to get the entry signal. Right now I'm using the Forex trading framework from February 2018. This is still the German beta version and it's a collection of several functions that are able to open and manage trades. And if you don't know what a Forex trading framework is or how you can build your own version, just go to forextradingframework.com Right now you can download a version for MQL5 and the MQL4 version will soon follow. But back to topic, we need to create an empty string for the signal. That will also be called signal and we don't assign any value here because we are going to calculate that later on. Let's actually calculate the IAC value for the current candle. That is done by using the IAC function. It has three parameters in MQL4. The first one is for the current symbol on the chart. The second one is for the time frame. And the third parameter is for the shift. We use underscore symbol underscore period. And we use a zero because we don't want to shift our indicator. And if the indicator has a value that is above the zero line, that would be the case when the bars are formed above this line here. We would consider that to be a sell signal and assign the word sell to our signal. In the other case, if the value is below the zero line, so if IAC value is less than zero, we would assign the word buy to our signal. In the last step, we return the signal to our main module by using the return function for the signal. Because this is the entry module and we are going to trade with the Forex trading framework, we just need to save the file for the entry and import the new check entry underscore IAC module in the framework, compile it, and that worked without any errors. So now we can click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader we are going to use a little trick. Let's click on Insert, Indicators, Bill Williams, Accelerator, Oscillator. Go with the default values, click on OK. And here you see the indicator. Now right click into the main chart, select Template, Save Template, and save the template as tester.tpl because this is the template that MetaTrader is going to use in the backtest. Let's click on save. And to bring up the strategy tester, click on view, strategy tester or press Ctrl and R. Select your main module. In my case, it's the Forex trading framework. Pick a currency pair, enable the visual mode and click on start. This is our little expert advisor at work. It's trading the accelerator indicator from Bill Williams and you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL4 code.